I'm having one of those moments where I'm allowing myself permission to be flexible because I was going to just have a coaching session and it didn't work out, even though I have the time carved out. And it's interesting because I feel like I kind of let myself relax because I think I'm laying in my bed and I got myself a hot tea and I am just showing up because I feel like often in my life and the signals from the world say that if we're not always constantly doing something, that there's something wrong with us or that we have failed. And I'm really working at breaking this. And I really encourage you, my beauties, to just freaking take five minutes to sit and drink your tea and like allow yourself. Eckhart Tolle, one of my spiritual mentors, has shared that like within, I don't know if it's Eckhart Tolle, it might be someone else. It's like, I actually think it's Lao Tzu. It's like in the undoing, everything is done. So instead of just like doing, 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 we're creating all this crazy blah, blah, blah. What if we just need to be and allow? And I know that I've been having a lot of like this turmoil with like creation and what I want to do. And I really just have this like entrepreneurial kind of like lightning that has been like striking me, I guess, if you will. And like I have all of these big ideas, but I'm not quite sure if I feel like I know what I'm doing. Do you have that where you feel like you don't know what you're doing? So then you almost like halt because I'm also I have three kids and I'm homeschooling one of them, but luckily only three days a week. So it's like, yeah, three days a week I homeschool. And oh my gosh, the propane person is here filling up my propane tank. Yay! See, in the undoing, I get to be here while someone is coming to fill up my freaking propane tank. It's amazing because there were days where I had motivation. And drive to do things. So I guess that the whole premise of this video is that we're not always going to feel inspired or motivated to do things. But the times that we do, like take advantage and do that and be in that. But I know that there are so many funky monkey times where I can get super stuck and not feeling motivated. And that is okay. It's part of being a human. And I really feel like that we need to kind of like rehone our direction, our energy on something else. And maybe it's like pick up a self-help book or a spiritual book or a book that lifts you up. Like do something that's going to help grow you inside and like encourage those ideas. Because if you're listening to true crime or watching the news all of the time, your thoughts are going to be hyper-focused on that. And then that brings a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety. That's how they get you to come because it's like rallying up those feelings. So what if you could choose your own energy and you could create the energy that you wanted to? What if you could do that? I'm telling you that it's possible. That it's possible to choose the way that you're feeling and what you're thinking by actually choosing what you're thinking and putting into your mind and your sacred vessel. And even when it comes to like food and water, like what are you putting in? Like, Recently, I really have been having afternoon coffee drinks, and then I feel myself kind of tanking. Those afternoon coffee drinks, that caffeine brings me up, 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 and then where does it go? It goes, and it plummets down, down, down. I have to tell you, I'm so grateful that somebody is here filling up our propane because our home runs on propane, and last year we had three propane leaks, three in this house that's, I say 16 years, but we've lived here for two, so an 18-year-old house. The cool thing about the story is we got a new furnace. So we have a furnace that blows all of the air and a new fireplace. And we got new tile that I got to pick that is this beautiful crystal quartz that my husband is awesome and he installed it. And I got to use my fireplace. Fall is coming. Ah! Okay, well, I love you. And I just wanted to say that there's nothing wrong with not doing things like there's nothing wrong with allowing yourself permission to just be and chill and to allow yourself maybe to like come up with a little plan to decide what it is that you want to do next have you ever thought of that what is it that i want to do next instead of what do i have to do we're always putting these crappy titles on things like i have to i should do this what if instead of shooting and having to, 
What if we made the choice that this is what we were going to do? And this, my beauties, is where manifestation begins, is when we choose the path that we want to go to. When we put the brain waves out, the universe is listening to all that we are communicating with it. So allow yourself to be the chooser of what's going on, right? And in those moments where you're not feeling like you have that inspiration or motivation, you reach for a freaking book. You can reach for a journal. You can write maybe your struggles or your gains. This is always, this is going a lot longer than I, I figured it would, but <sighs> trying to keep this short, but also inspired is that you can be the change. Do you see that? Mm -hmm, I've had that. I actually made that out of an old chalkboard. And I have this really beautiful mandala that wouldn't stick on the wall. So I stuck it on there and then I painted over the chalkboard and then I put that, be the change you wish to see in the world. You can be the change that you wish to see in the world by actually changing things about ourselves. Because ba -ba -ba -ba, fall is coming, fall equinox. I thought it was the 21st, but it might be the 22nd of September in America, here where I live. It is such this time. Trees are our greatest teachers. They are here to remind us how to let dead things go. They are here to teach us to transform and change with the seasons with an unconditionally loving heart with the roots seeded deep into the earth with trust and safety and knowing that fall is not always equal death. I know there's so many people I've heard saying that they dread fall and they would rather any season. I really think that the most perfect season is the season that you are in. And nature, she is our beautiful teacher that Mother Earth is always showing us the way. And again, when you're not feeling inspired or motivated, maybe you need to just slow your roll and just get outside in nature. Put your bare feet in the dirt, even if it's pokey or spiky or you get a thorn. Pull the thorn out. How does it feel? Ouch. How does it feel to walk on soft, tickly, squishy grass? Oh, sometimes you step in a poop. That's gross. Reevaluate. It's like life. Everything is a beautiful metaphor of life. I'm feeling very inspired and motivated. I love you. I'm grateful for you. I'm right here with you. I'm doing the things. I'm feeling the feels, feeling the feels. Sometimes I feel motivated. Sometimes I don't. And just ride the wave. Ride the wave and show up. Show up being your full imperfect, authentic, vulnerable self. You can do it. You can be here. You are her or him or they, whoever, all the things. I love you. Mwah.